Look at this, there are 4,152 subscribers in my trading group and we're killing it. I got a few shout outs to give on my trading group. This person stated, signed up for VIP Elite, I took your suggestion, I doubled my money in less than a week. This person, I'm up $58,000 in 10 days. Chris, thanks a lot for everything. I'm three or four months in the group. I've turned $4,000 into 65 grand. 65 G's out of 4,000. It's more than 10 X, he more than 10 X his money in the group. This person, I'm up $10,000 in the last week. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where he's calling out breakouts, posts and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos, you'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day and we've been killing it. If you guys wanna join the cryptocurrency trading group, you wanna pay in crypto, email me, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do wanna pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin at cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. If you are tired of that nine to five, if you're tired of working for somebody else, and you're trying to make life-changing money in cryptocurrency, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna keep you updated daily on the news that moves the markets. Bitcoin technical analysis, altcoin setups to help you make profits. Jumping right into the market today in crypto. Bitcoin is at 10,120. Bitcoin support, $10,000 support has held for now. And you have this little rounded structure forming, rounded bottom potentially. Important thing here is we talked about this falling wedge it looked to have broken out but really didn't have any volume and so possibly invalidated that idea because you just don't have volume confirmation on this but at the end of the day you have a high a low a higher high a higher low now bitcoin needs to put in a higher high up here this is essentially these rounded bottoms you know the bears are winning bears are winning bears are winning bears are winning then all of a sudden this higher low means hey you know what people were willing to pay a little bit higher price than they were on the last low okay so this high again people took profits a little bit later than they did on this high and so that's essentially what we're looking for this is the start of an uptrend again this is very zoomed in this is very zoomed in easily you could get a daily candle close and, and a sell-off on Bitcoin. You're, you're just at a key support level. $10,000 is key support. We get a Bart Simpson. Bart, bring Bart back. Bart to the upside. So we're going to talk about some higher term time frames and really dive deep into what's going on with Bitcoin. Where's Bitcoin headed? This is the end-all be-all. At the end of the day, Higher time frame always wins. Bitcoin daily chart. Okay, so we had this break to the downside, head and shoulders. If support doesn't hold here, you're looking at 9,800, 9,500, 9,000. Potentially after that, 8,500, 8,000, 7,300. Again, you can put some buy orders down here around 7,300 if you're looking to catch Bitcoin at its bottom potentially. But I'll keep you updated daily. I mean, this can change. Even if we do get a short term bounce, Bitcoin broke and closed the daily below 10,500. That was a you know important key level for the bulls. That level's been lost and so now and I'll talk to you about this more in depth on the chart in the in, later on in the video. But now it's like hey Bitcoin you got to show us something different. You got to put a, a a move to the upside above 10,500 and close it close it on the daily, right? To kind of flip things around. Real some pretty awesome Shout outs to give them my trading group. This person stated, I've been in your group for a year. I have three daughters and they got in crypto about five months ago. They invested around 80% of their unemployment benefits, around $5,000 each. He's from Venezuela. He's been in the group for a while. Now they have more than $35,000 each. Thanks to your videos 
and incredible setups. This person, I'm up over $50,000 on Cody. This person stated I went from $9,000 to $26,000 in three months. After I lost about everything, I finally started making profit thanks to your help. Uh, in the first day of joining, I made my full six months subscription back. While life changing money is coming, be prepared. Go to my website, www.cryptorev.net, for more details. I can help you become a very profitable trader. Justin Sun is going to distribute Sun tokens, which is kind of like a meme coin, people say, to the community earlier than planned. When Sun, when Moon, to be announced soon. And, and Tron saw an uptick on price. Uh, for this IOTX is there's a billion IOTX that's staked for the burn drop ignite so there's 1 billion IOTX that's been staked IOTX has had an uptick in the price recently eater base came out it's an exchange they said their hot wallets were compromised they got hacked their hot wallets were hacked there is a link in the description for the Ledger Nano S and Ledger Nano X. Those are 20% off right now. If you want to pick one of those up, keep your Ledger, uh, keep, keep your crypto offline, uh, cold storage. Miners, hash rate and mining difficulty are hitting an all-time high. So miners, they don't want to lose the current level. They're basically saying, hey, they're trying to hold 10,000, trying to hold 10,000 so that they can avoid taking any losses. DeFi has taken over this space. Anchor came out with some DeFi news. They're powering DeFi with Flash Swap. So Flash Swap is a new project powered by Anchor, fills the gap in DeFi. It's a decentralized protocol. Users will be able to trade on a non-custodial protocol and allow margins. Again, DeFi news pumps the price. Swipe comes out and they say, hey, we prepared to deploy the Swipe governance smart contracts to the mainnet. Binance is buying 4,012 land non-fungible tokens in the Sandbox game as a decentralized gaming platform. So they're buying land and sand has seen a huge uptick on the price based on this news. Hive.io, they've got code and optimization testing in full swing. This is the person from uh, Almeta, which is kind of behind and is taking control of Sushi and basically came out in this tweet and stated some ideas how they're going to work on development for sushi. Uh, they're, they're talking about they're going to reduce the supply of sushi tokens. Maker and taker fees are going to be reduced as well. Remember, sushi is trying to compete with Uniswap. Uh, Compound and Lend are going to create margin trading on, on uh, sushi swap. They're going to build on top of Serum as well, SRM, which I've talked to you guys about as being a strong coin going forward. So these are some huge updates that are in play for Sushi. This, gosh, you see a chart like this and your heart just is like, man, I hope this doesn't happen, right? You're just thinking, this is March, Bitcoin drop. Here we are, September. Is this the next step down? You know, obviously you stop losses in place, but it's something you have to consider. There's a ton of news in September. And just real quick to run through some of the bands that you probably are familiar with. BLZ has got their productive production mainnet launch, which just happened today. Uh, UMA is going to be listed on Coinbase Pro, probably already was today. Uh, it's really important to kind of pay attention to this news. This news is moving the market. I'm going to show you this in just a second. Pi token burn. There's a testnet launch for XEM, which I've got a setup posted on that. Dusk. Provisioner staking goes live. Dusk staking September the 22nd. CHZ has a new fan token, a new wave of fan tokens coming. And so CHZ always does well when they release those uh, those fan tokens. Or they've been involved with like these soccer games or soccer teams uh, in the past. And the, the, you've seen an uptick in the price, 20% potentially based on this idea. Uh, Definity's got a Sodium Network launch. Rivix RVX got a Uniswap listing, yield farming, liquidity mining, partnership with Ann. And again, this is happening in September. Staffy, a lot of talk on, on Staffy. They just had their main net launch. Uh, Plutus, Plutus DeFi has got a staking launch. Chromia, which has a huge uptick in price recently. Uh, they've got an exchange staking and main net that are going to be launched this month as well. IDEX, IDEX 2.0 is going to be launched. And so that I really, I took things a lot further and I found a list and I created a list uh, in the trading group of every single news event, mainnet, testnet, staking that you can imagine. So really 
and I'm, I'm talking like down to going out and talking to the teams like what's happening here what's going on with this can we verify this i had members of the group helping me out find these ideas and you have to verify them with the teams you know you go to the website of, of these projects you want to verify that this news is legitimate and it's going to happen on time and you can only do your best you're still at the mercy of what the team what kind of information they're going to provide with you with so you know had quite a few people reaching out to some of the telegram groups uh and these admins and some projects are giving like this shady information like uh, uh we don't really know but we think but it, yeah and they can't give a clear answer and then you're like maybe not pay close attention to that but you know formulated this list that you know you will see a lot of these coins pumping based on these ideas um in addition to the this list as well so make sure that you guys make notes on these ideas um, on your whiteboard so here's just an idea here's binance right so binance right now sand i just talked to you about that news on sand it's up actually like 40 something percent uh just a minute ago when i looked at it mainnet for stpt is coming and again you can see main uh this this mainnet and testnet and DeFi news is moving this market you got good setups on these iotx which i talked to you guys about in the video uh recently where they've got it's going to be a strong month for iotx because they got a ton of DeFi news coming and they've kind of laid it out like they're gonna they've got four more different ideas to unveil over time stx has got a mainnet launch coming this month lots of news on cody lots of news on cody so let's say bitcoin makes some type of pullback or pump in these in these all btc pairs get wrecked when bitcoin pumps or or potentially when it dumps hard and so you need to be able to go quickly and find these coins with a ton of news because that's what's going to bounce back the fastest think about it are people going to go buy coins with nothing going on is that where they're going to be hey let me take a, a bigger risk right now let me let me put my money out there and take a risk on something that hasn't had seen or in, any development hasn't really had a whole lot of news what's the team doing or are they going to find these stronger coins with a ton of news coming up right these news catalysts mdt this is important and i just posted this setup on missing group they've got an ama coming as soon as i posted it boom it took off they, they've got an ama coming and that's thursday the 17th it's going to happen mdt keep an eye on this one good get some possible good gains out of this over the next week of course trx is starting to turn things around on their chart right now uh, starting to curve higher DeFi news just swap and the sun token which we just talked about so potentially uh if we see some type of pullback on, on trx a small one and then continuation to the upside it's always everything i talk about with these altcoins always is contingent on what bitcoin does if you're like oh chris this altcoin setup just got wrecked but the whole market just got destroyed well it wasn't the altcoin <laughs> it wasn't the altcoin's fault big daddy bitcoin runs the show you guys know that like you guys know that you might as well get two monitors and you got to have bitcoin up all the time bitcoin up all the time as soon as, as soon as bitcoin makes a move everything changes and you have to reassess things right so it's not like hey this is a setup it's good no matter what bitcoin makes a move and you have to adjust to that idea so when the bitcoin is trending lower like it is it's like hey jump in jump out it's hard right, lock in profits faster like you got to be smart about this like it's one thing to make a mistake everybody that's new to trading is going to make mistakes but if you make the same mistake over and over again then hey, listen you what do you expect at, you know, at that point right we have to continue to develop our tool set if you're new to trading if you're new to these ideas if you're new to crypto keep learning keep practicing practice with small amounts everybody comes into crypto and they go all in and they're like well, i'll figure out figure it out later everybody else says it's going to the moon everybody else says bitcoin's going into a hundred thousand you know how many people bought $20,000 Bitcoin in 2017 because they thought it was going to 100,000. Like you can't, don't listen to everybody else. They're wrong 70% of the time. Do your own research. You have to, whatever everybody else thinks, the market's going to do the opposite majority of the time. Big Binance, if you do not have an account on Binance, why not? There's a link in the description. Go and make a Binance International account. If you're in the United States, you need to use pure VPN. This is, look at sand booming, 51%, 26%, 24%, 20%, 18, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, 11, 11. Small cap, mid cap coins are booming. This is my idea for a three-day rising wedge where essentially 
we're at the bottom. You know, Bitcoin needs to hold this level in order for this. Uh, there's some downside if, if this trend line isn't held, right? Potentially, we come down here and retest this yellow upper trend line of this triangle. I mean, if we bounce off, get a good bullish retest, I mean, that would be a good sign. But obviously, the move down to, you know, 9,000 wouldn't be amazingly fun for us. This is a chart I really want you guys to kind of key in on, okay? This is the Bitcoin three-day chart. And you can see we've been in this giant triangle for a period of two years now. And what I want you to focus on is you got your, this is a lower high. And this potentially, this last run up was, was another lower high. Okay, but then you've got a series of higher lows as well. So you use this price compression. You're going to get a, a huge triangle here. Okay. And so it's important to understand that I'm, I, you could, be a, you could be a lot more bullish above 10,500, right? And we broke below that level. Okay, so not super amazing. Very difficult to trade Bitcoin in this area because you don't know, is this a downtrend? Is this gonna start downtrending to the bottom of this triangle? And we're gonna see $6,200 Bitcoin? Is that, was that, you know, we don't really know, like this kind of, once, once we break 8,800, if, if, if Bitcoin breaks below 8,800, Let's be realistic. If it happens, then you're you're bearish. Like this is kind of neutral area. And you get a short-term bounce and come up here and retest 10,500, and then continuation to the downside. Expect more downside based on that bearish retest. Now, 8,800 breaks. Like I said, bearish. But there's a ton of support down at 7,100, 7,200, 7,300. Okay, so you know it's possible if Bitcoin were. Let's just. Put it out there if that were to happen. Lots of support there. Main support levels down here around 6,000. The thing about this pattern is we have to just assume that we continue in this pattern until we don't. Okay, now is this going to mean we're going to run all the way down to the bottom? Not necessarily, but we're going to find out. You know, this is just wanted to paint this picture where we're at level by level. We have to take this, right? You, you, trading is not predicting. Nobody knows for sure what Bitcoin's about to do. But the key is, is to create an edge with probabilities that swing things in your favor. And the biggest thing that will make you very successful when you're trading cryptocurrency, even if you're a holder, you got to know when to buy and you, you got to know when it, at some point you're going to have to sell. Right now, there's some Bitcoin uncertainty. Like, are, are we going to bounce? Is 10K going to hold? Now, all these are important ideas just to remember about Bitcoin. Remember, this market, nobody... <laughs> When we were up here at 14,000, nobody, nobody thought we were going to run to 3850. This market does what you least expect it to. Always, always expect the unexpected. However, when everybody's calling for Bitcoin to go to zero and fear and greed index is very fearful, that's a buy signal, you know. So right now, fear is 41. Yesterday it was 41. It's going to update in about five hours. But... When, when fear, again, this could go lower. You know, this could go, it was down, previously it was down in the teens, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, down in here, down in here, March the 14th, like people were extremely fearful. You could probably assume the same thing here. People were fearful. Like when you get extreme fear, like that's your buy signal right there. Like everybody, dude, the, the, the herd is wrong most of the time. The Bitcoin CME futures chart, there's a new gap. The gap boys are back. So you got a bullish MACD cross that's essentially being confirmed. You got a little bit of bullish divergence showing that, hey, this is trying to curve. It's trying to curve higher. I mean, will we run up, fill this Bitcoin CME futures gap? The whales know everybody's waiting and thinking this gap's going to be filled right here. So, you know, you expect some type of little fake out. Is that possible? You know, as soon as these moving averages come back, come down here to this price action, they're going to be pushing down on the price a lot harder. So that's going to be a lot of downside sell pressure. Bitcoin dominant. So you see this yellow 200 simple moving average. So when the price action of any coin commodity or Bitcoin dominance in this case is below that 200, it's bearish. Okay, so I want to see how the price action reacts to this 200 simple. Is it going to break above it? And if, the, if this does, Bitcoin dominance breaks above it, these altcoins will shut off, right? If, if it starts trending higher, these altcoins will be tough to trade. But if it breaks to the downside and breaks the support level, these altcoins will take off again. 
okay? So just holding pattern to see how these altcoins are gonna continue to perform. But if you can imagine, we had three months of amazing altcoin trading and look at all this, all this price action, all this Bitcoin dominance is under the 200 simple moving average. And, and so really that's key to understand as far as when to go big and trading these altcoins. Traditional markets are getting hit hard right now. Another ugly day for stocks as the NASDAQ tumbles. So again, stocks getting wrecked today. Not good for Bitcoin, but again, Bitcoin bulls are holding 10,000 for the time being. There's a lot of buyers stacked, you know, in the 95, 96, $9,800 area for Bitcoin. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.